Hello, everybody. Today, we're going to talk about circles and arc measures. All right, so first thing we want to talk about is what is an arc of a circle. An arc of a circle is a connected portion of the circumference of a circle. So it's the connected portion of this outside ring of the circle. There are a couple different types of arcs. The first type is a minor arc. And a minor arc is an arc which is shorter than a semicircle. And we use two points to name a minor arc. So for example, BC is a minor arc. This curve is less than half a circle. So for example, arc BC. So we use an arc symbol, two points, the points that are at the end of the curve. Okay, that's how we name it. Now, somebody could have named that as arc CB as well, and that would be perfectly okay. Now, how about the major arc? A major arc is an arc that's longer than a semicircle. We're going to use three points to name the major arc. So, for example, this blue part is the minor arc. The rest that is left over is a good example of a major arc. Every minor arc has a major arc that goes along with it. How are we going to name that? Well, we're going to use the arc symbol. We're going to use the endpoints. We need three points. We're going to use the endpoints. And then this middle point is just going to be one of the other letters, one of the other points that you go through as you go around from B to C. So I go from B all the way around, and I go through E. So I could have said B, E, C. Okay, so there's one example of a minor and a major arc. Now, let's go back up here and do another minor arc. How about this minor arc? How would you name that? That would be arc C D. And then how's the major arc named? That would be the green arc over here. That would be arc C and D on the ends and one other point as you go through. So it's like you can use B if you want. Okay. Any other minor arcs in there? Sure, how about this? There's a minor arc. How do we name that? Remember, minor arcs, two points. Arc B D. How would you name this green arc, which is the major arc? That would be arc B E D. How about another minor arc? See any more? I see this one. Arc E D. Arc E D. And how do you name the green one? That would be, could be, Arc E B D. Remember, three points, and that's it. And I think we have one more minor arc. E all the way around the C. So arc E C, how do you name the green one here? Arc E B C. Alright, so let's go back and talk about this for a second. Two ways you can name this guy. Arc B C or Arc C B. Either one, perfectly fine. Let's talk about this one. It's a major arc. Okay, from here all the way around. Sorry, I'm not exactly on the circle. Okay, but let's talk about how we're going to name this guy. A couple different ways. Still only allowed to use how many points? Three points. B, E, C. That would be okay. How about B, D, C? That would have been okay. How about instead of starting with the C, I start with the B. C-E-B. That would be okay. 
C, D, B. So if you name it this way, you can turn it around and do that. You still get the same mark. If you got this, you can spin it around and you got that. Last type of arc is known as a semicircle. Semicircle is exactly half a circle. You can use that with two or three points to name up to you. Okay? So, for example, here's a semicircle right here. We'll go this way. How are you going to name that guy? EB. That's two points. Or maybe EDB with three points. That's fine. Okay? Either way, it doesn't matter because you're going around half a circle. It's not going to make a difference. All right, let's talk about measuring arcs. All right? So the measure of an arc is the same as the measure of the central angle. So your central angle is the angle that comes from the center of the circle. The two sides of the angle are radii of the circle. So your central angle on this guy is 52 degrees. So what's the measure of arc AC? Measure of arc AC is going to be 52 degrees. What would the measure of the major angle be? What would the measure of the major arc be? Arc ADC. Well, we know a circle adds up to 360 degrees if you're talking about degrees. So arc ADC would be 360 minus 52, which would be 308 degrees. So this arc here is going to be 52 degrees. This one over here is going to be 308 degrees. All right, let's take a look over here. Angle GFE. So this angle in here is 52 degrees. So what's this minor arc? Arc GE is 52 degrees. What's this major arc? Arc GHE is... 308 degrees. And the reason I did this is because then I, I wanted to ask you, do you think this arc here is congruent to, equal to, this arc here? Okay, they have the same degrees, but are they equal to each other? In degrees, they're equal to each other, but in actual length, they are not equal to each other because this circle is bigger. Okay, so you got to be careful with that. Let's see if you can figure this one out. All right, so we give you arc NO is 68 degrees. So what's angle NMO? I like to say this is like a pizza, piece of pizza. So if this is 68 degrees, this central angle has to be 68 degrees. Come on over here, ILK. All right, so ILK is this out here. That one out there is 219 degrees. All right. What would that make this arc over here? Well, that'd be 360 minus 219, which is 141 degrees. Given KH is a diameter, find the measure of each of the following arcs in degrees. So hit pause. You got 78 degrees in this angle, 50 degrees in this angle. See if you can find me the measure of all of these arcs. All right, glad you're back. Well, it's important that this is a diameter. It's telling me this is a straight line here. So if this is 50, then on the other side, this is going to be 130. If this is 78, on the other side, we've got 102. Okay, so now... Arc LH, two letters, it's going the short way. So I'm going to highlight LH, it's like the piece of pizza. That's going to be 70 degrees. How about J to H, two letters? It's going the short way from J to H, two letters. Yeah, piece of pizza. You get the number that's inside that piece of pizza there, 50 degrees. How about L to J? All right, so two letters, so it's telling me it's either a semicircle 
okay, or a minor arc, two letters. I'm going to highlight that, and I'm going to, it's like a big piece of pizza now, okay? I'm going to add up the numbers that are underneath that arc. So 78 plus 50 is going to be 128. KL, KL is over here. All right, that minor arc is the same as the central angle, 102. KJ, KJ over here, that arc, same as the central angle, 130. How about KLJ, so K, L, you have to go through L before you get to J. So I highlight all this. And I'm going to add up all the numbers underneath. I'm either going to add up all the numbers underneath, or I'm not going to use the 130. So that's going to be 230 degrees. Let's talk about H, K, J. So start at H. Come all the way around to K. Come all the way around and end at J. So you didn't do the whole circle. How much didn't you do? I didn't do this part in here, which was 50. So I add up all the numbers underneath, or take away the 50 from 360, and I get 310. How about LKJ? L to the K to the J. So I'm adding up the 102 and the 130, so 232 degrees. LHK? So start at the L, go to the H, come all the way around to the K. Everything but that so that's going to be 258 and kh never come across the center of a circle never k to h is half a circle so that's going to be 180 degrees so i hope you found this video informative and helpful i will see you on the next video good luck with the problems